right there is the center of the door cell and the center block should be two on each side. One very crucial thing with these steps you want to have them tilted just a little bit forward. I learned that on YouTube because then the water will run down this way not against your sill and rot your wooden sill. So I think that looks pretty good for the first one. So let's begin the, uh, the others. So the problem here is uh, it isn't quite cut back into the dirt quite enough with a shovel and pushing this cinder block a little bit forward, which is a no-no. much better. Excellent. what I don't want to do is overthink this which I can do but I'm I'm not sure if I should take the next four and put those in front and then the next four and put those in front of those or stack the back row first three high because that's how high it's gonna go or build everything together so I'm going to go with the build everything together and hopefully that'll work okay. Okay, our camera battery died, so didn't get to show everyone the stacking of the blocks and uh, the placement of the paver stones on top, except for I'm down to just two more. So I'll pop those on and then we'll just take a look and see how it all looks. There, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, it's not perfect. If you notice, um, there is a little bit of a rise on that particular block. Um, just didn't get it flattened down at the very base, probably. I was uh, had a little tiny bit of a rise that I didn't notice. Um, also, kind of a major error that I made, to be really honest, is I didn't know how to make sure that the center blocks were entirely lined up parallel with this door frame. 
I'm sure there's a, a way to do that and construction guys would probably chuckle going, well, this is a pretty easy thing to do if you knew how. Um, so I'm, I, did, uh, I did not uh, complete that perfectly. It's probably out about an inch on that corner, but this is a temporary step set up um, because we're going to put a porch on this little cottage and then that would uh, and then of course all of these steps have to be removed. The beauty of this and the reason I chose these as opposed to a wooden set is that this is very easy to pop back apart. Um, the only thing I'm going to do is glue the paver stones with a with a construction cement so that they don't move or make any kind of wiggles when people walk on them. I was debating about gluing all the cinder blocks in place too, but I was thinking if I want to use these cinder blocks again, then this is an easy take apart overall and then uh, I can use a lot of these cinder blocks over again. I'm really not sure whether I'm putting on too much or too little. This is the first time to ever use this stuff, but I'm hoping it'll work. The good thing is with cinder blocks, they're only a dollar a piece, roughly. And so if they have to be pulled up and something done with them, then we can start all over again. Although I'd rather not. I don't know how long it takes for this stuff to dry. But I won't use these steps for a while. Nice to sit on your own steps. Well, these steps, I think, turned out a lot better than I had hoped they would. They're sturdy. They haven't moved hardly any, if at all, from their original position. They were super cost effective. Materials and everything, I probably spent less than $50. So sturdy, practical, really, really love having these things. And a lot easier to get in and out of the door. <laughs> so thanks a lot for watching, folks. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And click the little notification bell thing, and that'll tell you when I got another video coming up. Lots more coming. See you on the next video.